Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where we're going to learn how to easily add reaction roles to your Discord server in just a few minutes. This is brought to you by Rishabh Jain and Snorito Productions. Make sure to go down into the comments below and paste your Discord server link so we can all check it out and join. So reaction roles essentially make it so whenever someone reacts to an emoji on a message, they receive or get a role taken away from them. This is extremely useful in large servers where you need a bot to automate this. Before you forward, listen up. I own a community Discord server with over 2,700 people, and we use reaction roles to power it. So without further ado, let's get into it. As you can see here, we have reaction roles set up. So whenever you react to a color, the user receives that same color role. This is extremely helpful, so we can reward users with their own color role. Whenever users join our server, they can react to these variety of emojis and get roles for their occupations, such as YouTubers, video editors, etc. So in order to set up the reaction roles bots, let's follow these steps. Before we look over the steps, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for awesome content. Again, leave a comment down below saying your Discord server so we can all join in. First, we're going to add the bot to our Discord server. Then, set up the roles for the server. And finally, set up reactions for these roles. First, head to this top.gg website down in the description below. I know this is straightforward, but there is a tricky step that I need to walk you through. After that, simply click the invite button. It will authorize your account. Select the server you want to add the reaction roles bot to. Specify the permissions you want, and finally, add it. Congrats, just like that, step one is done. Bam, now if we go to our server, we can scroll and see the reaction roles bot has been added. Now, the tricky part. Wait for it, adding a reaction rule to your message. Head over to a text channel. Next, type in RR exclamation vote. Click on this blue text. Next, log in to top.gg and vote for the bot by clicking this blue button. We are now ready to go. Type in RR exclamation reaction rule. First, the bot will ask you to tag the channel where you want the reaction rule to go. I'm going to add another color to colors, so I will tag hashtag colors. Now, reply with the message ID. I go to hashtag colors and copy the message ID that I want. Go back to the spam chat and paste that into the channel. Now you have three options. Option one is the normal reaction rule where you react and when you unreact, it removes the rule. Option two creates a reaction where it gives you a rule, except when you react, it won't remove it. Option three is like option two, except removes the rule instead of giving it. For the purposes of this, we will use option one. Just type in the number one. We're almost done. React with the reaction you want to use on this message. We will be adding a purple color, so react with the purple emoji onto the message. Finally, write the name of the role you want to add to assign to users. I will be typing purple. Voila, just like that, your reaction role is set up. Now let's do one last important step. Go to the channels where your reaction role was just set up. Now, try reacting to that emoji. Check your DMs and BAM! Reaction role sent you a message with your new role. Awesome! If this didn't work for you, make sure your bot has the correct permissions and can speak in the channels and DMs. Awesome! This is so easy to use and works perfect for your server. But wait, don't leave yet. One last super important thing. If you made it this far, head down into the comments below and let us know if this was helpful. Each and every comment matters to us. We really want to know if you liked it so we can continue making content like this. Consider liking this video and subscribing. It helps out a lot and we appreciate it immensely. Ask down below if you have any questions. Join us next time in our tutorial on how to set up Invite Manager in your server. Thanks and as always, we'll see you next time.